Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to do another classic circuits you should know. And this is probably the most dangerous classic circuits you should know. So, this is a warning. Playing around with AC mains power can kill you. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. If you try and recreate this, you're doing it at your own risk. Okay? As long as you understand that. So what we're talking about is the transformerless power supply which also is known as the capacitive dropper supply. So if we think over here, we have our AC coming in. Remember AC, there's no positive and negative, it's alternating. So we're gonna come in from one side to a capacitor. Now this capacitor, for safety reasons, should be an X2 type capacitor. I don't have any, so you know, use at your own risk. We're going to use a 3.3 uh, microfarad capacitor. And that's going to be our dropper. It's just going to let a small piece of the AC through on each cycle. And then we're going to parallel a 470 ohm resistor across it. Okay? And we're also going to want a 470 ohm resistor here. These should be uh, about a watt. And that should be, like I said, X2. That's going to drop our voltage. So now we need to make a uh, bridge rectifier. So we can start. There's something like this. A couple diodes going in opposite directions. Then we reverse that for the opposite sides. Okay. We'll take this here, goes up there. This one here goes down here. They do not touch there. All right. I'm going to put in our first filtering capacitor. Oh, I almost forgot where these go. Sorry about that. And what that's the one is when uh, when the AC is is the when the positive part of the AC current is going in this direction, it's funneled up there. When it's going in this direction, it goes straight through. That's just your basic bridge rectifier. So after that, we're going to assume this is for a, a low current usage. We're going to put in a Zener diode. In this case, we're going to do 3.3 volts. Put in another 470, a little bit of a load there. And a reservoir capacitor, say like uh, four hundred and seventy microfarad or whatever you got on hand for your reservoir, and then your load goes there. So again, the way this will work is on each cycle, this capacitor will let a small piece through. This is our this is our dropper part. This is our bridge rectifier section. This is our voltage regulator section. This is our filter section. So we have the drop, the rectification, the regulation, and the filter. All right. Are you with me so far? Good. Okay. We're out of the holder for a second. I got it plugged into the Variac, which is set for about 125 volts. I'm going to put you back into the holder here. So that we can see everything going on. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on Variac. And then we'll probe. There you go. 
can see that pretty well, right? Oh, that's not the light. Here you go, 3.4 volts. Not too terribly shabby. 3.3 is what we were aiming for. So 3.4 tenths of a volt out of place is not too bad. <clears throat> see there. Nothing's hot. Key thing, make sure nothing touches. Again, this is a uh, AC. This is live mains uh, power. It can kill you. It won't care. You know, it'll just keep on going to ground no matter what. And if you're in its path, too bad for you. So if you decide to play with this, please be careful. All right, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. <laughs> Repeated myself from the Department of Redundancy Department. That's it. I'm out. Peace.